Um, President Stanley just put in his nine day resignation. Do you have any thoughts on that? Um, I did not know that was happening. I was <laughs> studying. Um, that is so crazy. Oh, he, he leaving? Yeah, in 90 days. He said that he no longer has confidence in the Board of Trustees. Oh, wow, that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's probably for the best. He was kind of a problematic man. Yeah, I don't really know much about like the whole like situation that happened though. Right. Because he like was not, he said that he was going to be transparent and then he proceeded to just not be transparent, which was kind of weird. So, yeah, kind of seems sketchy. But like they were kind of like weird about it because like they weren't saying like the entire story. So like we kind of didn't know what was happening. But they were like saying that he was like neglecting like some of his duties with like sexual misconduct. Um, I mean, I know there's been some troubles keeping a president in the past, so I guess that's concerning a little bit, but, and, you know, how we'll do better, but, yeah. I just, we were just talking about it a little bit. I don't quite understand, like, what happened with the Board of Trustees. Um, kind of echoing that, I definitely should be more informed on the topic due to going to the school. <laughs> um, I don't, I don't know, like, what he personally did, because, like, it's not out. I, I haven't really been paying too much attention about the whole situation with President Stanley, but I imagine that it, it was the Board of Trustees that didn't have a, like they had a vote of confidence on him, right? Uh, I imagine that if the trustees as a whole uh, were not confident in President Stanley, then I, I'd hope that their decision was, you know, best for us. So whoever the next president is, you know, hope they, they act in our best interest, but, you know. I don't know what the president's really supposed to do. Like, you hear about him, you like, I don't know what he really does, because like all of this stuff is so like above us right now. I don't really got too much of an opinion, because I feel like, you know, it doesn't really, I mean it affects me, but not really, because like, I don't know the guy, I don't really talk to him. How do you think this will affect the university moving forward? Probably, um, not great, because that's like the third president who resigned because of, like they were forced to, so that's not really amazing. So maybe someone better will fill the spot though. And like everything with Title IX, we've had the president switching out after everything with Larry Nassar for so long. Mm -hmm. Like I hope that it doesn't keep going with like the president switching in right. a new one every couple every couple years or so, and that like something is actually put in place. Because I right. feel like nothing's really been put in place about Title IX at this point. Right. So I think that just to keep confidence in the university, I think it was the best decision for Stanley to step down. And how do you think this will impact MSU's future? Um, I'm a little worried. I'm not gonna lie. I think we've been through a lot of presidents, and I definitely do feel a really like super uneasy around everything about the presidents and like I guess the administrative part of the university and how it's run. It feels very confusing to be a student right now. So I definitely lost a little bit of faith with everything going on. You know, I think we'll be fine. We're a big school. I mean, we got our stuff together. I don't see us like I don't see Michigan State, you know, like dropping off or anything like that. So I think I think we'll come out of it okay. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you.